high. Billions of people all over the world belong to one religion or the other, having extraordinary beliefs with which their religion is anchored. However, there is another set of people who neither support or against any religion. I'll be unraveling the reason for the religious neutrality of this set of people in this video. So, if that sounds interesting to you, hit the subscribe button and let's get going. One of the reasons why a lot of people are neutral when it comes to religion is the fact that religion presents a whole lot of confusion and conflicting beliefs. In the realms of Christianity alone, there are hundreds of denominations, each of them having different and unique sets of beliefs and doctrines. To an objective person, it will be confusing. And instead of belonging to one of those denominations, an objective person would rather stay neutral because of the mental dissonance that that would present. Another reason is outrageous narrative. Take a look at a lot of these religions. They have got a document or a book with which their religious belief is anchored. And if you take an objective look and you read through a lot of these documents or books, you will find out some very disturbing narrative found in all these books. And to an objective person who just wants to know the truth, nothing but the truth, you will not but wonder why someone in its right mental state would believe such an outrageous narrative. I'll give you examples. In Christianity, for instance, it is on record that a snake walks through a garden where the first two human beings were created and the snake literally spoke out and convinced and manipulated the first humans to disobey their creator. How would you believe that kind of story as an adult that an animal who actually still exists Snakes have not gone into extinction. We all know that snakes can't talk. But when you have that kind of narrative, even talking donkeys, when someone is riding a donkey and along the road the donkey stops and began to speak to its owner, who on head in his right senses would believe such narrative? The character of the supreme being presented by this book is also in question. He is known on record to be bloodthirsty and genocidal in his actions bringing out outrageous laws and killing an innocent individual just to forgive mankind generally. These narratives are cringeworthy and they are so graphic in nature the fact that this individual, this supreme being would single-handedly kill thousands of people including women and children and infants. So this is quite disturbing and a lot of us will prefer to be neutral than belong in this set of beliefs. And lastly, extraordinary claims calls for extraordinary evidence. Religion, when you take a look at their document or their book, as I've said earlier on, the character of the supreme being in that, in, in, on record on those books is very extraordinary in nature that he, he can appear and talk to humans and interact with humans, making displays, controlling nature, controlling rain, controlling sun. I mean, for crying out loud, how would you believe that a virgin can actually get pregnant without intercourse? Or how would you believe that God will actually select one illiterate in the Middle East and will take that individual to, the, to, to a, an unknown place called the heaven and before the next day, it, it will literally bring that person back on earth here. Yeah. How would you believe all those things? And in all honesty, people like us do not have any problem with those that believe all those things. It is actually fine and we respect your beliefs. But what we are saying in essence that we should respect some of us who are actually neutral when it comes to religion. That is the least you can do. You have to respect people that are neutral to religion. That's the same way people that are neutral respect your belief or your stand. That's all I have to say in this video. Do you have any other thing that you want to say as regards this subject matter? Please feel free to drop them in the comment section down below. I'm a religious influencer. If that sounds interesting to you, hit the subscribe button and I will see you in the next one. Peace.